Hello world! In today's tutorial, we're going to add PostgreSQL persistent memory to the Langgraph React agent using the Tavily tool to get a web connection and an anthropic LLM that we built in the previous LangChain tutorial. We'll use Langgraph's async Postgres saver class to implement a PostgreSQL checkpointer, which is a way to add persistent storage to a Langgraph agent using PostgreSQL database. I'll show you an example in Python. Before we start, I want to emphasize that the purpose of my tutorials is not that you code parallel to me. For this matter, I always upload the full code to my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. Let's get to the point. If you haven't watched my previous Langchain tutorial, please do so because this one is an upgrade of that one. It's mandatory because today we'll compare persistent storage with in-memory storage that we implemented in the previous Langchain tutorial. In the previous Langchain tutorial, we implemented memory to a Langgraph agent, but the memory was lost when we quit the chat. Langchain recently introduced a new way of adding persistent memory to agents by using a PostgreSQL checkpointer. More precisely, we'll use the async Postgres saver class, which provides a practical implementation of a PostgreSQL checkpointer with a Langgraph agent. It allows us to store the conversation in a PostgreSQL database, Consequently, we can quit and restart the chat, and the agent will utilize the PostgreSQL database to remember all our previous chats. Forever. But before we get into it, let's run the code from the previous Langchain tutorial. I want to show you practically what it's like to chat with a Langgraph agent with an in-memory storage implementation. As I explained in the previous tutorial, we built a Langgraph agent of the React type. This means that for every question we ask the agent, the agent will decide if tools are needed to provide an answer or not. We provided only one tool, and that's the Tavily tool to get a web connection. In-memory storage was implemented by setting the checkpointer parameter. So if we ask the agent such a question, that the agent will assess that using the Tavily tool is necessary to provide an answer, the agent will use the Tavily tool. If we ask the agent such a question that the agent will assess, that using the Tavily tool is not necessary to provide an answer. The agent will not use the Tavily tool, only the LLM. In our case, this is OpenAI LLM. Let's run the Python example from the previous Langchain tutorial. First, let's greet the agent with our name and ask for it after that. Cool, the agent nailed it. Now we'll restart the chat and ask for our name again. Hmm, the agent is clueless. That's because we restarted the script and the agent lost the memory from the first conversation. This is an example of a question where the agent doesn't need to use the Tavily tool to provide an answer. The agent simply greeted us back. Second, Let's ask the agent what's the current weather in San Francisco and ask about New York after that. Wait for the agent to utilize the Tavily tool and create an answer. Here's the weather for San Francisco. Again, wait for the agent to utilize the Tavily tool and create an answer. Cool. The agent nailed it. Here's the weather for New York. This is an example of a question where the agent does need to use the Tavily tool to provide an answer. Why? Because OpenAI LLM doesn't know this answer. We're asking about real-time data, and this is where the Tavily tool comes into play. Now, we'll restart the chat and ask about New York again. The important thing is that we don't mention the weather. Just New York. Wait for the agent to utilize the Tavily tool and create an answer. Hmm, the agent is clueless. That's because we restarted the script and the agent lost the memory from the first conversation. We don't want to know events and news from New York. We want to know the weather in New York. Let's look at the code of today's tutorial. Clone my GitHub repository. Change the directory to this one. Create a virtual environment named myvenv with the following command. I will not press enter because I already did this. Now you should see a folder named myvenv here. Activate the virtual environment with the following command. 
As you can see, the virtual environment is activated. Now we can install the dependencies by running the following command. Again, I will not press enter because I already did this. This command looks into the requirements txt file and installs all dependencies with specified versions. As in the previous Langchain tutorial, we need to create the env file and add multiple environment variables. The Anthropic API key, the Tavoli API key, and a few environment variables for PostgreSQL. Okay, I should mention that in this tutorial we'll use Anthropic instead of OpenAI, but you can use any LLM provider you want. Just don't forget to adjust two lines in the Python script, 6 and 22. For PostgreSQL to work, we need to set environment variables for username, password, host, port, database, and SSL mode. The code is identical to the one from the previous Langchain tutorial. The differences are the following. To start with, we need to import the async Postgres saver class instead of the memory saver class. Also, we'll use the PsychoPG SDK that we didn't need in the previous Langchain tutorial, which will allow us to connect to PostgreSQL in Python. More precisely, we need to import the async connection pool and the dict row. Let's stop here for a second to understand what these three will do in our Python example. The async connection pool will be used to make an asynchronous connection to the PostgreSQL database. Async connections allow non-blocking database operations. This means other parts of our app can continue running while waiting for database operations to complete. The dict row is a so-called row factory. In simple terms, we use this if we want our records to be returned as dictionaries instead of tuples. The async Postgres saver class will be used to implement a PostgreSQL checkpointer, which is a way to add persistent storage to a LangGraph agent using a PostgreSQL database. These initializations are identical to the ones in the previous Langchain tutorial, same for the function to process checkpoints. This function is for you to see how PostgreSQL checkpoints work. Let me be clear, you don't need it for PostgreSQL persistent memory to work with the LangGraph agent, but it's nice, if not necessary, to know at least generally what's happening in the background. Inside the main function is where the biggest changes need to be made if we want to implement PostgreSQL persistent memory. We define an asynchronous function to connect to PostgreSQL. The connection string is made of environment variables we set in the env file, username, password, host port database, and SSL mode. Inside the keyword arguments parameter, we set the dict row. After the PostgreSQL connection is established, we initialize the PostgreSQL checkpointer and set it to the LangGraph agent. Moving on, we need to adjust the while loop we use for chatting with the agent. As in the previous LangGraph tutorial, we set the configuration with the thread ID, but this time use the AStream method. Like in the previous LangGraph tutorial, when we list all checkpoints from the memory, we need to provide identical configuration and pass listed checkpoints to the function we defined above to extract information about checkpoints. At the bottom, we run the main asynchronous function. Now let's run the Python example. We'll test both cases, as we did a few minutes ago when I was showing you what it's like to chat with a LangGraph agent with an in-memory storage implementation, this time with PostgreSQL persistent storage implementation. First, let's greet the agent with our name. The agent simply greeted us back. Second, let's ask the agent, what's the current weather in San Francisco? Wait for the agent to utilize the Tavoli tool and create an answer. The agent told us about the weather in San Francisco. OK, let's restart the chat. This is when the magic with PostgreSQL happens. First, let's ask the agent what our name is. Cool, the agent nailed it even after restarting the chat. Second, let's ask the agent about New York. Again, wait for the agent to utilize the Tavoli tool and create an answer. Cool, the agent nailed it again.
Here we can see that the Langgraf agent has all the messages even from the first conversation, after which we restarted the chat. But where does this come from? Let's open PG Admin. Open the database named Agent Chat and the table named Checkpoints. If we refresh the table, we can see all our messages from both conversations. No matter if the Langgraf agent needs to use the Tavli tool or not, it's able to retrieve all past messages, and this way the agent has a context of past conversations, even if we restart the chat. Kaboom! I mean, how awesome is that? That's it. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.